guys. Today we're going to be testing the BMW M4 GTS at One Star and Asphalt Line multiplayer in the Slipstream series the entire way through, unlike that one video with the Shelby. I really don't like that video, but it is what it is. So, I got this car around the time the Slipstream series was out. So I figured, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. It's a fast car. Eh, that turned out not to be true. It goes only 202 miles an hour. Wait, actually, no. I just lied about it not being a, not a fast car. I mean, it is a fast car. 202 is how fast my Acura NSX GT3 Evo at five stars maxed out. I mean, it's not golden max, but it is maxed. That car will be getting a multiplayer test soon at five stars. I'm planning to upload another one, too, with two stars. But point is this thing is pretty fast and i figured it would do good in the slipstream series in this race we're not doing too well right now but we are not necessarily lost this is the ghost slipstream series i believe but ahead of us is an acura nsx vipers etc all the jazz they are somewhat wrecks we passed another nsx i believe in front of us is yet another nsx yep it is i'm not sure if this is ghost or regular slipstream but we'll figure it out soon I think this is regular. I said it was Ghost, but I'm not sure. Okay, there are two more NSXs come up. Is that an Ortega? No, that's another NSX. It is Ghost Slipstream, by the way. Yeah, there's two NSXs drifting right there. Looks like we're not going to get first. But then one NSX Rex, and the other is just slow off the bat. Or off the wall. You know, getting off the wall. And we won the first race. That was an insanely good finish for me. Because I'm in a one-star M4. These guys are in four-star Acura NSXs. Three-star, two-star... I'm in a one-star BMW M4. On to the next race with another NSX and a Pininfarina H2 Speed and another NSX. There's, and that's who's in this race. There's also one other car. It's an Ortega. Forgot to mention them. So, anyway, back to the BMW Z4. Um, and then, Z4, M4. My bad. I think I saw a D-Class car. It was a 370Z and I, 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 I thought I, you know, I was talking about the D-Class BMW. But no, I'm talking about the C-Class M4 GTS. So back to the M4 GTS. I, I mean, it's fast. It, it, that's why I chose to use it in this season. But everything else about it is not really that great. Its nitro efficiency, I guess, is okay. I'm not sure how people rate nitro efficiency on this car. I think it's okay, but like, its acceleration is not really that great. Its handling is not good at all. Its acceleration is not good. It's really just a top speed car at this rank. But as you do start up, it does get better, and you could use it in multiplayer. In the Slipstream series, as I've seen, it's done pretty well. I mean, I won that first race, and we're not doing that bad in this race. We are now in second place towards the end. He didn't take the ramp. I figured I might be able to catch up. I wasn't, and that Acura NSX up ahead wins. But we did get past the Pininfarina H2 speed behind us, and he was not able to catch up and seal the deal in the last bits of this race. I was pretty happy with this car so far. Guess what? We're back on the New York truck that I won on. There's a Porsche Cayman Club Sport. There's a Lamborghini Gallardo. There's a Viper ACRs and all that stuff. NSXs. All those cars that you expect. And, and the Mazda Fury. Um, I, I think he lost. I don't know about how much, but I think he did lose. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Right now, we're using him and the Viper to go and get speed. Because those cars are a lot slower than me. I can ride on their Nitro and fly past them. And because it's Ghost Slipstream, I can go right through them with no problem. I mean, here, everyone's pretty close right now. I mean, the Vipers, they can see the guy. There's NSXs and Vipers ahead. The Cayman Club Sport, I don't know where he is. He's probably ahead. No, he's not, actually. Huh. Guess the Cayman Club Sport died. Speaking of dying, the Gallardo just died right there. Now it's just me and a Viper ACR. I could have lost the race there if I had messed up the 360, but I didn't. I got lucky. And when the NSX goes up there, I come down here hoping for the barrel roll to give me speed I need. I'm catching up to this NSX. I think I was faster. He takes one way. I take this way. I'm not sure which way is faster. Sound off in the comments. Which way is faster? The left way or the right way? I think it was the left way though as I'm in the lead now. And there's cars behind me. And we're coming into the final bit where you have to drift. Someone took the left route. I took the right route here. And with one well done shockwave. We won another race on this track. This track just seems to be my N4's favorite place. And did I say N4? I meant M4. Oh, and the Gardo got last. On to the next race on Cairo. It's Nile River against a Viper ACR, an H2 Speed, and an Alfieri. Now, of these cars, I was actually scared of the Alfieri. 
you'll see as this race gets to its end that that was not the car I should have been scared about. I was scared of it because it has good nitro efficiency and an actual faster top speed than me. So it's basically better than my car. And, you know, if it's just inherently better, how am I going to beat it? But that's not what really happened. That H2 speed is our main competition. And as you can see, he's keeping up with me relatively well. And there goes the Alfieri in all his speed. But he takes a longer route. And I figured he would be, you know, not doing too well. I mean, he is doing well, but I figured he would not be... A competition but he was and we're still carrying on not a Anna pin and Freen is in first so by this time I'm realizing that the Alfieri was not as difficult as it was I mean I figured it was not a competition but it's not it's not really that bad I don't know what I'm saying point is just I realized the Alfieri was not as scary as I thought it was especially as we're coming up here but this is my downfall I am faster than that pin and Freen, I believe no I'm not but I'm getting past him I'm going to get past this Alfieri, but how am I going to win this race with this corner? And there's a Pininfarina and a Viper ACR behind me. Yeah, they, they love that turn. I mean, they just got right past me like it's nothing. But once again, the Alfieri really didn't show up when it needed to, and I beat him. Anyway, on to the final race of the video on Scotland. We got some Vipers, Pininfarinas. Should I really explain to you that these are just the normal cars you see at this rank well what's to say about the m4 gt as that one star in classic season multiplayer you're probably gonna die like there's i don't think you're gonna live but in slipstream go slipstream especially you could actually get some wins some upset wins because this car is not really that slow and if you have the higher stars i mean i implore you to take it out i mean it's not gonna do that badly if you drive it correctly if you suck at driving don't take this car out you're not gonna have a fun time but if you're a relatively good driver I don't see why not. I mean, this thing is, I mean, as you see here, doing well. I mean, in second, these guys are in like three, four star cars. And they, that, those cars go up to four stars. This one goes up to three stars and I'm driving it at one star and I'm maintaining second or third place. So the M4 GTS is really not that bad of a car, but it's just been overshadowed over as time gone, goes on. And yeah, it's just not as good as it once was, but it's still not a bad car. And if you do want to use it, that's Ghost Slipstream. I do recommend it. It is pretty good. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Asphalt 8 and 9 content. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.